everyone, it's Tara here with Create Life Paper Words, and this week I'm sharing week 39 of my 2015 weekly Project Life Family album. Uh, I'm really, really loving how this week turned out. Um, I decided to get the Brimfield collection um, from Studio Calico for their PL kit, and that's what these cards uh, pretty much all come from. I'd also picked up the 4x6 paper pack. Um, I don't subscribe anymore, but I did really like the colors in this uh, kit, and that's why I decided to order it. Um, so I was really excited to work with it, and uh, this is pretty much what I created from it. The only card, now that I'm looking at it, that is not from that one, is the uh, I'm so happy I live in a world where there are Octobers. That is from last year's uh, Studio Calico uh, Project Life Kit. Anyways, so um, lots of the pretty pinks and light blues in here. Um, I've already had laid out all my pictures, um, and so now I'm really just working on the embellishments. I'm putting some alphas on this one uh, picture of um, my husband and kids uh, doing their first skating time um, of the year. Um, I really wanted to do a bit more journaling than I had been. Um, I used to always do a weekly uh, journaling. This is what we did during the week and I have stopped doing that. Um, so I'm hoping I can start doing some type of journaling again um, and not just pictures. Um, using some enamel dots and that cute little balloon wood veneer that is from the September Gossamer Blue Kit um, that I was uh, gifted as a giveaway um, from a friend of mine. Um, as you see um, with the still shots that I have of this, um, after I finished recording, um, I decided that I wasn't quite happy with it, so I added a couple more things. Um, that top right corner, uh, right now it has a four by six card and then a gold uh, overlay over it. And it just was not working for me. It just wasn't quite looking right at all. So I do, um, I do fix that up, um, but you don't see that. Um, and then on here, um, I also did a couple switches. So that uh, card, blah, blah, blah. And the one of myself and my daughter picture beside it. Um, I actually end up having to swap those. And the reason I do that is because um, I had done on the week before a uh, pocket sh shaker card. And so um, when I was putting all these cards in the pockets it just didn't look right having the picture behind it um, just because you could see like where it was printed so I switched the blah blah one um, because it's got some black and white on the back of it and it ended up looking really neat uh, with the sequins against it. So I'm just working on a little bit of stamping. Um, I'm absolutely loving this white uh, Brilliance ink that I have. Um, it's got such a neat look to it uh, once it's on the picture and I've been getting all my pictures printed from London Drugs lately and I've really been finding that the quality is just amazing. Um, so I'm gonna keep doing that instead of uh, printing at home. Um, also, it was getting really expensive with the ink purchasing that I was finding. So I stamped week on this card here. Um, totally, totally cased it from a friend of mine um, where she didn't have a title card the one week and so she decided to stamp her uh, week no and number on it, on her uh, picture. And I just loved how it looked and I thought, oh my goodness, that's amazing, I have to do that. So I wanted, um, I, I actually I should start with, I had bought the Kelly Stamps um, alphabets that are very similar to the Kelly Perky ones um, and then they're just the outline and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for these stamps to come in and so I finally decided you know what I'm just going to go ahead with this layout um, so I used the alphanet ones which are uh, filled in um, and wouldn't you know I went and picked up the mail about an hour after finishing this and I had my Kelly stamps stamps in so had I just waited a little bit longer um, that week would have looked a little bit different just because I did want the outline but it still looks really nice um, I still like how it really does pop off the page um, and you know that's okay
It's okay to sometimes have to do things other than how you thought you were going to do them. So as you noticed, I have been switching things up a little bit. Um, I have been making my pictures more the square size um, for a couple of these cards. And I continue to do that for the next uh, couple of weeks as well. Um, just trying something different, um, finding what I like that others are doing and uh, trying it myself. Um, so we'll see if I stick with this. I, I like it in this spread and then I like it on the next week that I have as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it looks. So these chipboard things, I love them. One of the reasons I wanted to get the broom filled kit. Um, and then as I was trying to figure out something to use, um, I couldn't find anything that fit any of my pictures or any of the sayings that worked. So I did not use them on this spread, um, even though the color would have really looked amazing. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to use them on another spread um, because, I, like I said, I really love that coral color. And this is where um, I really start to change that card in that top right corner. Um, it just, I'm not sure what it was. It just, it looked too plain like that. And yet I couldn't really figure out um, something else to put on there. The colors of these fall alphas, they just did not look right with the rest of the colors of the spread. Um, I think if I'd had some oranges, that might look okay. Um, so in the end, I decide to do some layering, um, and I originally was going to do some journaling on this card, um, but I actually ended up not doing that. Um, I had I always keep a little stash of stuff, um, like little memorabilia from the week, and I had found it for this week, and it had uh, my son's. Um, his, when we had gone to get him like weighed and measured for when he turned four. Um, anyways, I had had a couple of those little slips in there. So that's what I end up doing um, with this. So it's definitely more embellished than what you see me doing here. Um, I did have to, you know, go away for a little bit and come back to it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you who is excited about watching my videos um, and who comments on them and who gives them a thumbs up. Um, I'm enjoying this video making process um, for my project life quite a bit. And I'm really excited that uh, everyone who's been watching it does too. So thank you so much to um, all my subscribers. Um, it's getting up there. Uh, we're well over 500 now. Um, so I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed. Um, and as well, thank you so much for following me on Instagram. And we shall, I guess, see you next time I do one of these videos. Bye.